Hey everybody, so the Pixel 4a got its first Android 12 update almost 3 weeks back. And as you are probably aware by now, Android 12 brings a ton of changes to Pixel devices. All of which you can see in the older video that I made. Links to that are on the top right corner on your screen. But in this video, let's not fixate on those features. Instead, let's have a look at the device after this update and the issues that exist even till now with this device after this major update and how the device performs in day-to-day -day usage. But, 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 before we get into that, make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon if you haven't already. It's free and will keep you updated with all the latest videos from this channel. And in case you want to watch this video in Hindi, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel as well. Now starting off with the benchmark scores, and first of all on Geekbench, on Android 11, the Pixel 4a used to score 533 in single core and 1505 in the multi-core score. And after the Android 12 update, the scores were 515 in single core and 1484 in the multi-core score, which was a small drop in the scores. And after this November security patch, the device now scores 508 in single core and 1505 in the multi-core score. And it looks like things are getting back on track, at least on paper. Something similar can be seen on the Android 2 as well. The device used to have a somewhat low score of 2,86,000, which after the November patch is now 3,46,000 approximately, which is quite better than before. And though that doesn't mean everything, the real world usage tells it all. Overall, the performance has improved in the real world as well, and I can feel the app animations and load times to be slightly better, if not much. As I've told in the past as well, this device isn't meant for hardcore gaming, but it can handle your occasional BGMI sessions quite well. Overall, the performance has improved in the real world as well, and I can feel the app animations and load times to be slightly better, if not much. And as I've told in past as well, this device isn't meant for hardcore gaming but it can handle all the occasional BGM sessions quite well. So in that aspect, the device is doing slightly better in terms of overall usage. Android 12 brings a lot of animations, which can feel laggy sometimes, especially with the older hardware. Though I must say it has improved with the November patch and looks a bit more fluid, but for the sake of a better user experience, I reduced some animations by going to the developer options. And in case you don't know where they are, well, you can enable them by tapping on the build number in about phone section 8 times and you can see them in settings later. Anyways, I reduced the animation scale to 0.5x just to save some resources and make the device feel a bit snappier as it was with Android 11. So until Google fixes it all up, you can do this, which I think should be done with the next monthly drop. The battery life has also taken a slight hit with Android 12 as compared to Android 11 where I used to get roughly 6 hours and sometimes more. And now with Android 12, the screen on time is a bit messed up. But I use a third party app and as for that, I am getting around 5.5 hours mostly, which is a reduction of around 30 minutes from the overall screen on time, which will vary as per your use case, but do keep that in mind. Now about the camera application, well it has been similar for the most part and there are no new features to be seen. The image quality from the back camera is also quite similar to what we had before and the samples do look quite good with ample details. Though I found the front facing camera to have slightly lesser details in artificial light. Or maybe I'm overthinking, I don't know. Do let me know in the comment section down below what you feel about it. So my verdict on the Android 12 on the Pixel 4a is, well if you wish to update then you must keep the above mentioned issues in mind and it's better to format the device once after updating as it really helps. But if you are someone who can wait and do not want any issues for now, just stay on Android 11 until Google fixes everything with this major UI overall. Other than that, in case you want a video on how to go back to the Android 11 on the Pixel 4a, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll try to share a video on that as soon as possible. But that will format your data. Anyways, that's it for this short video on the Pixel 4a after Android 12 update. And the device is pretty much usable with some scope of improvement, which I hope Google will do as soon as possible. Anyways, if you do end up liking this video, make sure to tap on that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos from the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.